Hey guys, welcome to PHP Developer TV. In this episode, I need a development environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to install Vagrant. We're actually going to get some prerequisites, prerequisites first. Um, Vagrant's going to be one of them. So we'll go ahead and download that. We'll get the latest version. Vagrant 131. Okay. The next thing we need is VirtualBox. Hit the downloads. And I am running OS X. So we'll get this. Now, the reason why we're using Vagrant as opposed to just installing Apache or Nginx or maybe if you have a Windows machine um, IIS is the fact that Vagrant allows us to do a destroyable, completely segregated development environment. It's pretty much just a trashable, um, small virtual environment that you can get in there, um, SSH into, make your changes, and keep it separate from your host operating system. All too often in the old days, we would go ahead and download things like, you know, just, we, we would download Apache or a uh, LAMP stack to keep on our Linux environments that we develop on. Um, but these days, we can have a small virtual environment to take care of all that for us and not let us muddy up our host. So we have to download, uh, we have to install VirtualBox prior to Vagrant. Um, it's one of the requirements to run Vagrant. Let's see, this shouldn't take very long. It's the latest version right here of VirtualBox. It comes like this if you're using OS X. You install the package. Let's see, bring these things over here for you guys. You guys can figure out installation wizards, but uh, I'm going to show you guys step by step. That way there's no question. Let's see. Password. Now, this server, what we're going to do is we're going to um, set it up for PHP development. This is going to be the quickest zero to full on environment that we can set up and the most reliable. That's why I love this uh, Vagrant setup we got here. That's successful. We can go ahead and close this and we can bring up our Vagrant. Here we go. If you've ever tried to install Vagrant before and you've had a little trouble, hopefully this will help you out and show you the right way to get through this. Vagrant has an MIT license. We'll agree to that. Install. Time for another password. There we go. Okay. And the cool thing is once you're developing on Vagrant, or if you'd like to develop on Vagrant, you can actually use this this configuration tool called Puppet, which is new. It's made by a guy, uh, Juan Tremenio. He's from the Dallas area, as I am. And uh, you can go here, puppet.com. Okay. And most of this is already set up for a pretty basic install. You probably just want to go through here and fine tune some things, like the name of your box. We can call this. Uh, slow Loris. That's what I like to call mine. Vagrant, bo Vagrant box name doesn't matter as much. Uh, that's fine right there. IP address. Remember, we will. This is the basic. I think it's the, this is the default uh, IP address that a virtual box gives a host only adapter. Not sure. The thing is, this is the default. I suppose uh, we'll leave it like that. That's fine. Uh, gig of memory is probably enough for whatever you're going to be doing on this little this little VM. Let's see. This is good too. This is just a way. I'll show you where this is here in a little. Once we open up terminal, we actually get in there. It it allows you to edit the files on your local file system, and they'll automatically be synced to the www root on the uh, virtual machine. And the server basics. Uh, this is this is fine for our basic needs. You got git, curl, vim, and the build essential package. Um, that's pretty much all. If we need anything else, we can always add it via SSH. We can just add it as a regular um, user to the system that way. But right now, we can just roll with those default packages. The HTTP server. Let's see. This looks good. We we'll use Apache. So we're doing PHP development. 
uh, server name. We'll call it slowlores.dev. Okay, document root here is perfect. Don't need any environment variables right now. Let's see, we get down to the PHP section. 5.4 is good. Uh, we will take Composer. Go down through here. All these are fine. PHP mods. Pair is good. We'll go ahead and keep that. Xdebug. Xdebug is going to be configured here and enabled already for you. These are all settings in the PHP IDI. Um, if you wanted to click out of this, you could, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, the IDE I use PHP Storm is awesome at just rocking with Xdebug. So we're going to use that for our debugging purposes later. Okay, that's fine. We can keep that. Chicago's good for me. And we're fine on the URLF open. Okay, database. Uh, I'm going to stick with MySQL. That's what I prefer. Let's see. Uh, MySQL root password. We can call it YouTube. Make it really simple for everybody here. This is just for demonstration purposes. You guys can change that as you feel uh, appropriate. Let's see, PHP on my admin. I don't really use this, but we can keep it um, as a fail safe. If you, if you have a, a SQL GUI that you prefer, other than that, by all means, uncheck that and you don't need it for the installation. It's just a tool that you can use to make life easy and visual for you. Um, now, to create that actual database in a user, use a new username. Tutorial user. There we go. That'll work. Password. Uh, let's do tutorial. No, nah, we'll do a zero. Make it a little bit off. Like I said, it's just for uh, demonstration. <laughs> tutorial. We'll do that for the database name. Logo is just fine. Okay. And that's we really just need one right now. Finally, right here at the bottom. Uh, get to this point and you're able to create my manifest. Click that and it downloads this file. BC64 is the box name. What I'll do now is I will pull up my downloads folder, show you guys real quick. Here's a wheezy 64zip We're gonna go ahead and extract, extract it right there. And I'm gonna place it in a more friendly area. Um, I'm probably gonna put in documents, switch over there. And here I will Actually, new folder. We'll do uh, environments. There we go. Let me straighten that up. Drop Wheezy in there. And then we will pull over our terminal right here. Okay. So let's see. Well, I don't know what I was doing here. Where am I? Okay. Good. Perfect. CD environments. There's our Wheezy64, CD2 Wheezy. Okay, now that we're here, it's very simple. What we will do is we will do a vagrant up. This is gonna take a little while, but that's okay. What it's doing now is it's gonna build the uh, base box. First it has to download that from its source. Okay, cool. Now that we're done with that, we can try a Vagrant SSH. Okay, awesome. So now we're in our Vagrant box. Here's all the stuff. Let's pull it up in the browser here using the address that we chose for the installation. And there you go, it works. Let me back back out of this. Okay, so we're here. We're back in our folder, our Wheezy64 folder, as you can see here. Um, if you look here, we have an index.html. Check this out. So, you can do a uh, index.html right here. It works. This is our page we're looking at here. Yay! Add a little bit more exclamation points to that. Right quit. Come over here, refresh. And there you go, guys. That's how you get Vagrant working um, for your PHP environment. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that helped you guys out. Um, stay tuned for some more PHP development tips. We're going to get into uh, some beginner tutorials pretty soon. And that's gonna, we're going to be able to do that on here. 
Uh, if you follow along, you'll be able to have the same setup as I will. I might do a IDE configuration with Vagrant first uh, for those of you using PHP Storm. But if you're not using PHP Storm, don't worry about it. Um, all the principles that we're going to talk about in the tutorial are strictly PHP. They're not ever. They're not learning the IDE. They're not learning PHP Storm or NetBeans or anything like that. Um, unless in the future you find one explicitly saying we're learning PHP Storm today, <laughs> and there might be some of that. Um, just stay tuned, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, thank you very much. See you next time.